Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Bard to create Mad Libs templates to share with your students. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this. So first of all, I'm at bard.google.com and I'm signed into my Google account. And I'm going to enter a prompt like create a Mad Libs story that has blanks for adjectives. And now we'll let Google Bard create the template for us. And there it is. There's a little story. And we can view some other drafts if we like. All right. So here's a different draft. And there's a different draft. And we'll go back to our first draft. Now, if I like this one, you can see there's all my adjectives. I can simply go here to my share and export option and now export it to Google Documents. And I'll have a Google document that has all of those adjective blanks in it. Now, if I wanted to use this further than just the document, I could take this content and put it into a Flippity Mad Libs template so that my students can fill it out online. And let's go ahead and take a look at how that process works. So here I am now at flippity.net and I'm going to go down here to the Mad Libs template and we can see a little demo here. Let's open that demo in a new tab. And the demo here is that we'll see the trip and all the blanks for students to fill in and then view the story. Well, we can do that using the instructions here where we'll then get a template, a Google Sheet template, and we're gonna make a copy of it. And in the copy, we will then take the text that we have from Google Bard copy that, place that right here into the story. And now let's go and select the publish option. We need to publish this to the web. And now get the link. And now the trip option has been replaced with all of these adjective blanks for our students to fill in. And now they just go to the link that's up there at the top to fill this in. Now, if I want to change it so it's not called the trip anymore, I'll just go back into my Mad Libs here okay, and change out the title and call it the autumn story. And now I'll publish that again. And we can see I have it published. Let's go get the link. And the next time I refresh it, it'll be replaced. So that's how you can use Google Bard to create a Mad Libs template to use with your students. As always, for more things like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.